Hello and welcome to Barnwood Park. My name is Mr. Alban and I'm proud to be the head teacher here. I'm so sorry that we couldn't welcome you here to Barnwood Park for the physical transition days, but I'm sure you agree our main purpose is to keep the school community safe in the middle of the COVID pandemic. However, we put together some presentations and videos to help you get a better feel for the school and to understand what we can do to support you in your transition here in September. We do hope that we can welcome you here in the summer for the summer school so that you get more comfortable about knowing your way around the school and who the key staff are. Now let's meet the teams and see where the magic happens. Yep. Hi, welcome to Barmer Park Sports Centre. As you can see, we've got a brand new sports centre that was built last year just for our students. We do let it out externally as well and it comes with a brand new classroom. Within this classroom, we teach GCSE PE, Cambridge National Sports Studies and a range of other subjects. Within the sports hall, we teach a vast range of sports along with some outside. Within here we can host netball, basketball, badminton, trampolining and some indoor sports such as table tennis. Hi everyone, welcome to Barnwood Park. This is the science uh, department. Come on through, I want to show you the great science that happens in this school. So here at Barnwood Park, we like to do great fun experiments. This is one that we are going to do to show you what we can do here at Barnwood. Everybody, what do you think this is? What is this? What do you think this is? Go for it, Latrice. This is bubbles, okay? This is a mixture of bubbles and gas. And so in a minute, what is going to happen, if I get my angle right, okay, is that Miss is going to light this, okay? So are we ready to see what will happen when this gets lit? Take it away, Miss. Whoa! Right, so that is one of the many experiments that you won't be able to do, okay? But you might be able to like the teacher at some stage. Here's another one. Okay, so we are now going to add some chemicals into, again, some washing up liquid. It is amazing what you can do with washing up liquid. Okay, so hopefully this will work. Are we ready? Anybody got any idea what is going to happen here? Anybody got any idea? Anybody got, go for it. Is it going to bubble up? You reckon it's going to bubble up? Okay, what do you reckon? Uh, same with um, Josh. You reckon that's going to do that? What do you reckon, Evelyn? Explode. You reckon it explode? I hope it doesn't. Okay, here we go then. Right, let's have a countdown. I want you to say, when I pour it, three, two, one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mrs Fitzgerald Johnson and welcome to English and the Library at Barnwood Park. English lessons build on everything that you have done in literacy at primary school. We read a huge range of novels, plays, fiction and non-fiction extracts from Shakespeare all the way up to the modern day. Alongside this you'll also develop your creative writing skills and your viewpoint writing skills. We will also invite you to take part in lots of extracurricular activity including Carnegie Shadowman Awards, um, writing workshops, visits to the Cheltenham Literature Festival and joining in our World Book Day celebrations. We're really looking forward to meeting you and to welcoming you to our school. See you soon. Welcome to our library. As you can see we have a large selection of fiction and non-fiction books for you to take out. We run several clubs including Chill Club for the Year 7s and two book groups. We also have student librarians who help out. Throughout the year we hold several competitions and we also have an ongoing reading challenge. Students receive house points, certificates and prizes too. On World Book Day staff and students dress up and there is also a quiz for the students to take part in. Please make sure you look out for the competitions as there is something for everybody. Our newsletters show details of many events and our competition winners. 
We're looking forward to seeing you all in September. Hi, I'm Mr Pugh and welcome to the Music Department. There's always something going on here in the Music Department. But in Year 7, we look mainly on the basics of understanding music theory and how it fits into con the context of larger music in the world. Into Year 8 and Year 9, we look at topical-based things where all of that basic understanding in Year 7 follows on into and up to including GCSE. We offer a lot of clubs, including Glee Club and Choir and a new ukulele club starting this year. Um, we offer lots of concerts uh, at Christmas and in the summertime, and we do a lot of uh, musical theatre, including Annie, Hairspray and Grease uh, over previous years. We do also offer voice projects, uh, which are filmed professionally and uploaded to YouTube. Uh, we take part in the G15 Celebration of Success, which takes place at Gloucester Cathedral. And one of the most common questions we have asked is uh, that instrument lessons that your children take at primary school. We do also offer individual instrument lessons here through peripatetic teachers. So if you need to know more about that, please ask. We look forward to seeing you. Hello, my name is Miss Jones and I'm the Head of Drama at Barma Park School. I'm standing here in our brand new drama studio, which I will show you a bit more of uh, shortly. But if I could just indicate the lights here. We have lights in the ceiling and portable lighting which we use in all our lessons and we're very lucky we're one of the few schools to have that sort of facility. Our brand new studio has rape seating which is withdrawn for the lessons and then we bring it out for assessments and performances. We have black curtaining all around the room and a black carpet and black chairs to create that famous black box for making great shows and for fantastic lessons. I'd also like to show you our uh, reward cards that we send home when your students, when our students rather, and your children do incredibly well in lessons. I'd also like to show you um, our last musical production, which was Hairspray. Um, you can see that we do a full set, full costumes, um, and we work closely and collaborate with the dance and music department to make that happen. All the very best in your choices for schools, but you really can't go wrong with the drama department at Barmer Park School. Welcome to the dance department here at Barmer Park. My name is Miss Snipe and in September I'll be joined by our brand new dance teacher, Miss Saunders. There are so many opportunities for you in terms of dance at Barmer Park. We do clubs, we do trips and there are so many shows that you may have already come to watch from primary school. But what we'd really love is every child here at Barmer to have a go at being on that stage at some point in their career here. Everyone dances here at Barnwood. In Key Stage 3, so Year 7, 8 and 9, you'll be on part of a carousel where you will get danced at least once in your year here. In Key Stage 4, you can choose to take it for GCSE and it's a very popular subject with both the boys and the girls up taking it for their GCSEs. We can't wait to see you. Come to maths. We believe that all our students can succeed in maths. So, we reject the idea that a vast majority of people just can't do maths. Teaching for mastery is a key feature of our department. We provide the opportunity for our students to deepen their understanding of maths through reasoning and problem solving tasks. We also provide the opportunity for our students to study statistics and also for the maths when they get to key stage two. Thank you for joining us at UKMT Maths Club. We're here to promote a love of problem solving. One of our favourite problems is the cross number, where students have to answer complicated and problematic calculations that give answers that fit into a cross number. We'd love to see you join us in, in our club in September and hear one of our students. Today in our maths class, we were asked to put down 10 different numbers in the columns and rows. We then, we were, we then added all of them up together and got 505. Surprisingly, everyone else also got 505. So why could this be? At Barnwood, we teach maths as a spiral curriculum. We come back to the four key topics each year. We have number, we have algebra, we have geometry and measure, and probability and statistics. As you can see, we don't use exercise books, we use a folder. So in year seven and year eight, we use a small folder. By the time we move up to year nine, 10 and 11, we've moved to the bigger folders. So by the end of year 11, we have a complete folder of our maths. In addition, each student has what we call a flight path. 
This flight path tracks a student's progress from year seven through to year 11, and it gives us and the student a feel as to how they're progressing towards their target grade in year 11. Do you find algebra tricky? Well, so do many students. And that's why I like to use manipulatives, counters, to help people make sense of solving and working with equations. Hi, I'm Miss Patel and welcome to the Humanities Department. We have a wonderful team of teachers here in the Humanities Department and we are all really, really looking forward to welcoming you to our school. Within our department, we teach three main subjects, Geography, History and RE. The Humanities subject is the study of people and throughout these three subjects we will be teaching you about cultures around the world, the belief systems around the world, traditions around the world. You will be learning about the past and what lessons you can learn from the past. We also have lots and lots of trips that we have in our department. We have links to our local church, St. Lawrence Church. You may even get a chance to go to Italy and meet the Pope. We also have trips to the battlefields and the trenches. Lots and lots of exciting things for you to find out about. It's such a shame that you can't actually come into school to see all of this, one, to see our wonderful classes and all of the wonderful things we do. But we are really, really looking forward to welcoming you. Take care, see you soon. Hi, welcome to Belmont Park. This is the Modern Languages Department. Come on in. Here at Belmont Park, we learn Spanish and French up to GCSE. We have two opportunities to go abroad, which is to northern France um, in December, and we go to Barcelona. Come and meet our team. Here is Miss Porter. Hello. And here's Miss Ballroom. We'd love you to come and learn languages at Barnwood Park. They're awesome. See ya! My name is Mr Hayne and I'm the Head of Art and Technology at Barnwood Park. Now, when you start at Barnwood Park, you'll find we have an arts and technology carousel with a whole range of subjects including textiles, cooking, drawing and painting and design and technology. Also on the carousel is a subject called digital art which is quite unusual, not many schools offer it. Now, digital art is about being creative and artistic on a computer, and it involves some ideas that may one day lead you on to a career or be interested in games design or special effects. I also teach GCSE Photography, which is an option at year 10 and 11. I've been teaching that a number of years. It's very popular, it's a very exciting course. Now, if you come to Barnwood Park, I'm sure that you'll get the opportunity to learn about both digital art and photography and hopefully be as excited about them as I am. Hello, I'm Mrs Roberts and welcome to my art room. In this room, we concentrate on painting and drawing. At Key Stage 3, you will be doing lots of exciting projects such as faces, visual elements and graffiti. And, we will, and you will be using lots of different materials such as oil pastels, watercolours and acrylic. At GCSE level, it is a very popular subject and we're very proud of what our students achieve. We encourage an independent creative response and we consistently get some of the best results in Gloucestershire. You will have the proper opportunity to go on trips during your time at Barnwood, such as maybe going to Rome and GCSE students always go on a trip to London to the Tate Modern. I really look forward to welcoming you in Year 7. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Mrs Dunford and welcome to our brand new textiles workshop. At Key Stage 3, we're going to cover all the basic skills you need for textiles. So we'll look at hand sewing, handling fabrics, ironing and printing. And in Year 9, we'll then introduce you to how to use a sewing machine. Moving forward into Key Stage 4, we cover textile design and this is where it gets really exciting. We will explore a range of techniques and processes and skills to help you to produce super creative and imaginative outcomes. Very much looking forward to seeing you in September. Okay, my name is Mr Holland and I teach design and technology and this is my room. Okay, lots of workbenches in here, lots of equipment. The kind of things we do are design and make stuff, solve problems. In year seven, you'll make a teaching aid to teach mechanisms in primary schools. Something like this little unicorn here. In year eight, we learn a bit about electronics and make a light uh, which uses upcycled materials. So we'll also learn about plastics 
and uh, how to save the environment by upcycling. In year nine, we do a project which is using paper and card uh, and some ideas involving designing houses, architecture. So this is one that one of the year nines made. Also with this project, we get into the computer room and do some 3D modelling on the computer as well. And that's a quick summary of what we do at Key Stage 3. We also do GCSE design and technology, uh, where you'll, you'll use all of the stuff that you've learned in years 7, 8 and 9, plus a bit more. Okay? See you in September. Bye. Hello, my name's Mrs Workman, and myself and Miss King are the food teachers here at Barnwood Park. We teach GCSE Food, Nutrition and Planning, which covers everything from food science, uh, understanding nutrition, how it works in your diet, all the way through to preparing food and meals and also looking at the restaurant industry. At Key Stage 3 we are part of the Arts Rotation and you will do roughly a 10 week rotation each year. So in year 7 you will cover the basics of knife skills, having fruit, making fruit salads, basic dishes, pasta bakes, those sort of things. And then in year 8 you sort of step it up a bit more and we look a little bit more in the detail of nutrition and food science. But again, cooking nearly every single lesson. And then in year 9 again it's stepping up but aiming sore towards your GCSE and the food science again but loads of cooking. Just getting those skills in so that you leave here completely capable of cooking. We also have the option to do um, cooking uh, clubs, so you can do a six week one where you sign up and we're also planning on doing um, a young enterprise one, so it's more about we're cooking and doing soup kitchens to raise money and look at things we could spend in a more sort of holistic way rather than just coming and making cakes and eating cakes. We also take part in the Rotary Young Chef competition on a regular basis and we've often got people to the sort of semi-finals definitely getting through. I think previously we've had someone go to the nationals. Oh, hello, we didn't see you there. It's me again, um, Mr Holland. Uh, I also teach computing. And um, <clears throat> in computing, we learn about not just how computers work and when you send something on the internet, what does it actually do? When I press this key here, what does it do? How does the computer know these things? Not only have you learned about that, but we also learn a bit about how to make computers do what we want to do. Uh, a bit of programming, coding. And uh, what I've got in front of me now is, is some Python code, uh, which is what we, we teach. We teach some Python in year 7, 8 and 9. Or we might also do a bit of Scratch in year 7, which you've probably used at primary school as well. Not only that, we have uh, a club after school which takes part in something called the UK Robotics Challenge uh, using the Lego Mindstorms kit, which we program a robot to uh, carry out several different types of challenges which are set by the competition uh, people and you are welcome to take part in that when i see you in september okay bye bye i hope that you enjoyed hearing from the different subjects and now we're going to hear from some year seven students about their experiences for barnwood park hi welcome to barnwood park i'm sharissa i'm spencer i'm bessie I wanted to come to Barnwood Park because I've heard about all the great reviews and all that on Barnwood Park and I thought it would be a nice place to fit in and see what I could do and see how I could progress at Barnwood. I found it great. I really enjoyed making new friends and uh, uh, meeting my teachers. I'm looking forward to having lockers and new teachers and, um, and new form tutors. We're looking forward to seeing you all at Balmer Park and I hope you enjoy it. And now we're going to hear from our Year 11 cabinet. This involves our head girls and they're going to take you on a virtual tour of the school and explain more information about Barnwood Park. Hello, my name is Olivia and I am head student here at Balmer Park. Our school offers a range of different opportunities such as clubs like STEAM club, dance club and netball club. I, as a year 10, I have been able to experience many different subjects. I have been able to develop my understanding in religions and histories and also express myself in art and photography. As a Balmer Park student, this has allowed me to express myself and develop my academic and social skills. It isn't easy starting a new chapter in your life, but here at Barnwood, you will be greeted with a warm welcome and smiles. Our staff and teachers will help you along the way. They will support and care for you even during your hardest times. 
Our school makes sure that you use all of your talents and skills and reach your full potential. Your experiences here at Barnwood Park will prepare you not only to pass your GCSEs but also for the future ahead of you. We have many visitors which explain what will happen in the future and how to prepare. The Barnwood Park family consists of bright-minded, well-mannered and enthusiastic students and we would love for you to join us. Hello, my name is Leila and I'm a deputy head student here at Barnwood Park. Here at Barnwood we are lucky to have different activities and lessons that allow us to express ourselves. For students with a love for the theatre arts, we have the Christmas concert, Barnwood's Got Talent, two musicals, every, uh, a musical every two years and Centre Stage. Centre Stage is a yearly performance which is well known in the area. Students have the chance to show off their skills and passion for dance. Bar Park also offers a variety of clubs and competitions for other interests. They help gain interpersonal skills like teamwork, responsibility and motivation which helps build your personality. For, for example, Netball Club builds your confidence and teamwork. It also helps you it helps it also helps with your responsibility as you have to be consistent and not give up. However, if netball is if netball is not your cup of tea, you can always participate in the science bake-off. Bar Park also has an annual sports day that includes a range of fun activities and games. We see a lot of excitement and teamwork from the Bar Park family members on sports day. We make memories and have the best time. In order for us students to explore our interests and achieve our full potential, Bar at Barnwood we have access to great facilities. For example, a new sports hall which, is, which lets us enjoy a range of different sports. We also have a new drama classroom and dance studio which are both bigger and allow for better performances. Frequently asked questions will be available on our website. If there are questions that you have that aren't answered there, then please email us at admin email address which is along the screen now. We hope you enjoyed our tour and we look forward to welcoming you in September.